All right, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we got some uh, excitement here on the hobby farm. Dad was kind enough to bring his new toy over, and uh, this will actually be its introduction onto the channel. Haven't been out there to film him in action, but he's done a lot of mowing out there place, and he kind enough to bring it over for us today. We're gonna put it to work. It's got the tough cut mower on it. The rough cut, I should say. We'll go ahead. I think it is tough cut. Is it tough cut? I think. We'll get it unloaded and uh, cool. take y'all along with us. thing right here is absolutely amazing for this. Shrubs up to two to three inches. He's just leveling over. Y'all can't tell it from the camera, but this here is pretty darn steep. This portion right here, I'm uncomfortable on my LS MP125 mowing sideways on. And uh, this Ventrac has got no struggle on it. It's got a 20 degree slope right now. On the dash, he's got the digital slope gauge and it's popping about 21 degree angle there. Camera doesn't do it justice.
right, guys, so I really did it now. I wondered, you know, how anyone could do this. Yes, let me tell you, it's easier than what I thought it would be, but let me show you the pickle I'm in. So on this bank, I don't know, we're about 20 to 24 degrees on the slope, but anyways, I got a locust tree and I was trying to go around it, the back tire caught. Well then, when you try to wiggle yourself free, it just kept sliding on down and down and well, now I'm stuck. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to get the LS, pull the back end up the hill, either that or cut the tree down and well, it's a pretty good locust, I'd rather try to save it for a few more years but anyways that's the predicament i'm in <laughs> i heard it could happen <laughs> yeah here it is witness the sad thing is i was even going uh when i noticed it i knew there's potential for it so i said well i'm gonna take it real slow and make sure i don't make the wrong move well on this slope it doesn't matter as soon as you start turning it just creeps its way down the hill so we're going to see if we can't get it unstuck. Thankfully, the rhino was able to get this thing unstuck. Woo! Let me tell you, that was uh, a lot more challenging than I thought it was. But you can see the bank and uh, these roots didn't help it none either. Just kept it sliding on down into the tree, but glad that's over with. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> All right, we're going to finish up here. Right, guys what an adventure today was dad i want to thank you for bringing bigfoot over look you there <laughs> what a machine you know he brought this over and i think he was trying to say his tractor was a little cooler than mine yeah. ah just kidding it is this thing is a beast i'm glad uh glad he let us use it this afternoon i know he's got a lot of work done at his place i'll have to take you all over there sometime and watch him in action he's got the fields looking almost like a golf course and the woods looking like a state forest so what a machine he's got nothing but good things to say about it again this is the gas model he's got the dual wheel kit on it the slope gauge and uh the tough cut mower deck but you know if you're if you have doubts mowing on the fields and the banks with the farm tractor then dad will uh Tell you rest assured that you feel very safe on this it's got a very solid footprint and you don't get that uh that butt pucker feeling on this thing so 
I had it, I think 26 degrees was the steepest I've had it. It was out there by that uh, watering trough we got. And it was still solid. So I think it's it's rated for 30 degrees, but I think I've seen them on steeper stuff. So all in all, I want to thank y'all for coming along. I appreciate the support. We'll catch y'all next time on High Hilltops. Y'all take care.